Today we're going to talk about how to make your own custom purchase list for the Twitch Toolkit mod. And this will make sure that your purchase list is updated to reflect all of the different items that would be in your different mods. I usually test if my purchase list is working correctly by searching for something that I know is only added by a mod. In this case, I'm searching for strange meals since I know that they're added by the Call of Cthulhu mod. And you can see they're working properly right here. And the next thing you'll have to do is get your very own GitHub account. And you can do that by going to github.com and clicking sign in or sign up. Now that you're signed up for GitHub, you can come along to the Twitch Toolkit wiki, which I'll leave a link below this video. And you can scroll down to where it says the public pricing list. And you can see here, learn how to customize your own GitHub list to include mod items. This will bring you to a page with some instructions on how to make this list, but I do find that they're a little bit outdated as some of the file names have changed as well as some things on GitHub have changed. So that's why I'm making this video. Now I will click the link to the public repo example list and open it in a new tab. In this new tab that you've opened up, you'll see the example list opened. Simply click the fork button at the top right here to make your own fork of this project. You will receive a message saying that you've successfully forked this project, and after a few seconds, you'll see your own version of this project displayed on your screen. It didn't show up on mine since I've already done it. Now, let's open up RimWorld and click our Options button to bring up this menu. Once that menu is open, you can click the Open Save Data folder. Once that folder is open, you can open the Twitch Toolkit folder. And now this is where some of the file names have changed from what is posted on the wiki and what is posted in the video tutorial that's up now. You will see the ones that are important are store incidents and the store items. I have mine set to open in Visual Studio so it's easier to read, but you could just open yours in the Notepad tool as well. First, I'll open up the store incidents file to open it up to this text document. Click somewhere in the text file to make sure that your cursor is on there, and then you can press Ctrl plus A to highlight everything in the file, and then Ctrl plus C to copy it. Go back to the GitHub fork that you created, click on the store events.json. Now you can click on the pencil to enable editing mode. Click somewhere in the text field to ensure that your cursor is on there. Now you can press Ctrl A to highlight all of the text. You can press Ctrl V after that to replace all of the text with what's on your clipboard. Once that is done, scroll down and click Commit Changes. It's not able to be clicked for me since I've already done this. Now you can bring up back your file explorer that had the Twitch Toolkit folder opened in it and click on your store items file to open up the text file for that. You can press Control A plus Control C to copy all of the text that's in that file as well. Now you can click the item list link to get back to the main page of your repository. This time, click Store Items instead, and click the pencil to edit this file. Click somewhere in the text file, and then press Ctrl A plus Ctrl V to paste the text from your clipboard. Don't forget to commit the changes when you're done. Now, it's time to grab the links for each file. After committing your changes, you'll see a button at the top of your text file that says RAW. Copy and paste the link from your address bar and put it into a notepad document for use later. Click the back button and then click the item list link to get back to the main page of your repository. Click store events and then raw to repeat this process for the events link too. You can paste this link into your notepad for later as well. Press the back button and then the item list link to get back to the main page of your repository again. Here you can click on index.html. Click on the pencil to edit the file. 
Open back up your notepad, and here you can copy and paste your first link, the storeitems.json one, and use it to replace the link on line 15. Please be sure not to delete the quotation marks. Now you can open up your notepad to do the same for the storeevents.json link. Copy and paste that to replace the link on line 16. If you want, you can also scroll down to line 22 and replace the name there with your own. You can also replace the information on line 32 to reflect your streamer information. You can paste the link to go to your channel as well. Now that you're done, you can scroll down and click Commit Changes. If you ever want to change the name of your item list, Go up to settings and you can type in the new name here and then click rename. Be cautious when doing this as you may need to update your links to reflect the new list name. To get your purchase list link, go over to the left menu and click pages. Make sure the branch is set to master and this next one is set to root. Don't forget to click save. You can change how your purchase list looks by clicking Change Theme. You can see that your purchase list has been published. Click the link in the green area. It may take some time to update the purchase list or post it for the first time. Test that your purchase list is working properly by searching for items that you know are only added by mods. Here, I search for Strange Meals since I know that those are from a mod. Congratulations! You've now set up your own purchase list. Go up to your address bar and select all of the text in the field. Press Ctrl C to copy the text. Open back up RoomWorld and select the Options menu again. Here you can click on the Mod Settings button. Once you are in the Mod Settings menu, scroll down to Twitch Toolkit, click Show Settings. Click on the Store tab at the top. Here you can edit the link to the purchase list. Delete the text in the box that's there already and replace it with the text that you copied before from your address bar. Now your chat can type exclamation mark purchase list to bring up a link to your purchase list. Thanks for watching.